In this video, I'll discuss the bachelor mathematics in a nutshell. My name is Sophia. I teach many courses to mathematics students, and I'm also a tutor for the first year students, which means that they can come to me with any question or problem that they may have. I studied mathematics myself at the VU, and I enjoyed it a lot, so I stayed and became a teacher. I'll try to answer two questions in this video. Why should you study mathematics? And why should you study it at the VU? First of all, mathematics is much more, much broader than you probably know. I think most viewers of this video only know mathematics from high school, which is mostly calculus. But the world of mathematics is much wider than that. There are many, many different fields and every mathematician has his favorite one. Um, and some of these fields are very abstract, uh, theoretical. These are fields where uh, mathematical structures are discovered and numbers are studied and puzzles are solved, which is fun in itself. But even the knowledge from the most pure fields can be applied to society. And that's what makes mathematics so important and valuable. And during your studies, you will discover these fields and find out for yourself what you like best. And you can adjust your study program to that. And that is what makes our study program unique. For in the first year, you get courses from many different fields to get a good mathematical foundation. And then from the second year on, you can choose courses. So at the start of the second year, you can choose whether you want to do a pure mathematics major or an applied mathematics major and within these two majors you can choose certain tracks so if you go for the pure mathematics then you have three tracks that you can choose from algebra and geometry analysis and dynamics and probability and statistics in the applied major you can choose to apply your knowledge from mathematics to biomedical science computer science optimization and economics and data science. Well, I understand that you may not be familiar with these words like algebra and geometry. What does that mean? So if you'd like more detailed information, have a look at the study guide. The study guide contains detailed study descriptions. So you can go to this site and find more information. I'll list some characteristics that define our program. First of all, theoretical and practical courses alternate. For instance, in the block before Christmas, you study a lot of theory, which you then apply after Christmas in a modeling course to some practical problem. And as I said, all courses in the first year are fixed, but then in from the second year on, you have many options. You can choose what you like best. Good to know, since three years, the bachelor program is taught in English and this has resulted in 50% international students. Our group of students, but also uh, our staff is uh, very diverse. And if you're interested, we have around 35% uh, female students, um, not 50-50 yet, but we're getting there. We have a good support system. Every week you'll have a study session where we teach you how to study mathematics. How do you attack a problem? What do you do when you don't know how to start? How do you study for an exam? That's things that we, uh, we work on. You also have tutorial classes where you work on exercises together with other students and a tutor. and You can get feedback on what you have done. We have a great study counselor. Her name is Cori Quant and she keeps track of your study progress. She helps you uh, design your study path, gives you advice on all the choices that you can make during your studies, but she also helps you with more serious personal problems. And I'd like to say that teachers doors are always open, at least they used to be. Um, and now we're very accessible online. This is the new building. It's the new university building where our education should have taken place right now. 
um, but it's still brand new because it's barely used. Uh, it opened uh, last year in January. Um, and well, it will be a great environment for us to teach and, uh, and to study. So when is mathematics a good choice for you? Well, first of all, when you like to think about things, when you really want to understand things. Understanding is much more important than computing. We're not so interested in using an algorithm to compute something, but we want to know why does this algorithm work. But still, we do a lot of computation. So if you enjoy that, then that's uh, a good characteristic. And also, when you've studied mathematics, then you, your, your career options are open. You still can become almost everything. Um, the world really wants you. There are a lot of job opportunities. I often get the question, what should my high school grade be to uh, succeed in this study program? Um, oh, it's a bit hard to tell, but uh, we advise uh, an 8, at least, on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, but it really depends on how hard you work for that 8. So, because this program is a very challenging program, it's a difficult study program. And you will have to work at least 40 hours a week to be able to, uh, to succeed. So you should be very motivated and really enjoy mathematics to, uh, to succeed here. So if you're interested and uh, maybe you have more questions, then uh, please join the chat. Uh, we are, during these bachelor days, uh, students are available in the chat. You can ask them all your questions. And at all times, there's also a teacher from the mathematics program available in the chat. Um, if you cannot join the chat or you cannot ask all your questions, then you can send an email to Matt. He is our student ambassador. He uh, studies mathematics himself at the VU. And uh, you can also contact our student counselor, Cody Quant. This is her email address. All right, I hope to see you soon.